Sup guys, Derek, moreplatesmoredates.com. Today I'm going to be talking about how to build high quality, high caliber social circles in particularly, well, this is going to work anywhere, but this is kind of very applicable for guys going to college or university right now. So I'm going to break down my background very quickly and then delve into how this is applicable wherever you live. So when I was first getting into pickup and stuff like that, if you didn't know, I uh, before all the bodybuilding, before all the you know hair loss prevention stuff, before anything I talked about on my channel, I was completely enveloped in the pickup. I don't even want to call it like pickup artist stuff, but it's basically what I was doing. I was basically dedicating my life to getting laid. And I did this from age... 18, no, 19 maybe to age like 22, 23-ish. And I basically just want to like demolish that part of my life so that I can focus on other aspects, which I highly advise you guys do as soon as possible. Because once you get that stuff done, you don't feel like you're missing out on anything anymore. You can kind of get on with your life and build high quality relationships. Um, Fuck buddy rotations if you're into that sort of thing as opposed to monogamous relationships, Um, you know have options that you're going to and social skills you can otherwise are going to have a harder time achieving the older you get due to social stigmas and and people's general uncomfortability in doing stuff that they feel only young people can do as they get older totally different subject but anyways if you're in college university or in general just don't really have any friends this is how you can build high caliber social circles easily like within days So basically what I did was when I was in university, I basically approached a shit ton of girls. Like I, I would hit on a lot of girls and try and, you know, go on dates at many times have two to three dates a night. And that seems insane, but that's just all I cared about at the time. So obviously you're going to get rejected sometimes like this happens totally normal and should be expected. What most guys do when they get rejected or a girl says, I have a boyfriend, which, you know, sometimes she's lying. Sometimes she's not. Sometimes she's just going to say that in order to reject you without, you know, rejecting you. It's actually very rare for a girl to just flat out say no because they're very timid. So, you know, typically if you get rejected, you're going to have some chick say, oh, I have a boyfriend or like, sorry, I'm like seeing somebody or whatever. So what you can do to spin this because what the majority of guys do, including myself, when I first started all this stuff is I would accept the rejection and leave. And you know, that interaction it just, you know, disappears into nothingness because nothing comes out of it. This is how I changed everything and turned every interaction into a potential massive benefit for me, even the rejection. So what I did was I would hit on girls just like I normally would. And then if I got rejected or a chick said she had a boyfriend, I would get her number anyways. And I would say, let's just be friends. Now, a lot of you guys are going to think, why would you do that? You're not going to get anywhere. You're, you have to put in all this effort to get this chick. She's probably not going to leave her boyfriend for you. She's already not interested. Why would you do this? The reason is, especially if you're at universities or colleges, I went to a commuter school. No one really knows anyone at the commuter school. You might have like a handful of friends that also go there. You're probably not in the exact same classes. You know, everyone has their own major, has their own degree, has their own uh, electives and whatnot. Everyone has their own schedule. And it's not, you know, you're going to often find yourself in scenarios where you're by yourself in college and university, unless you're in like a very tight knit, you know, like I've never been in like a fraternity or anything like that. I went to a school in Canada where it's a commuter school. There's no frats. There's no anything. There's no party life. It's like you make it how you make it. Like if you, if you want to have a sick life in the dating world, you have to manifest it and create it yourself. You can't, you can't just go to a party and have stuff handed to you on a silver platter. Not that that's how it occurs, but in some cases it's easier than others to be connected to an individual two individuals. So I was at the school where basically none of my friends went there because they were all in trades and I was going to school for business. And there's a lot of chicks there who are also there basically by themselves with very few friends because it's a commuter school. So you'd often see girls walking by themselves, studying by themselves in the same class as you by themselves. 
And even if they're not by themselves, it doesn't mean that this is like irrelevant. So if you get rejected and you ask for a number anyways and say, like, you know, I'm, um, you don't even have to have an explanation. You'd be like, look, that's cool. Like, let's be friends. Like, let me grab your number and let's grab, uh, you know, coffee next time you have this break or whatever. Cause let's just say you're both, she's just chilling, studying and like on her phone or whatever at a table and you go hit on her and then. Like, you obviously know that she has that time block for you or whatever. Or just let me grab your number and we should hang out sometime as friends. You'll be surprised how many people say yes. Because girls do think that guys can be friends with girls. And guys are going to be the ones who contradict this and say they can't. And I think that's often the case. I do not think it's very common for a guy to have, like, friends who are hot girls and not have some sort of sexual tension in the middle of the situation. So... But the girl, on the other hand, is fully convinced that you two can be friends and it's going to work. So even if she's not sexually interested whatsoever, you still want to do this. I'm going to explain why. And I probably should have explained it sooner instead of this video being six minutes. <laughs> but bear with me <laughs> and don't get pissed. So what you do after you get the number is you would treat it exactly like you would a friend. You say, like, if you have some guy that you're friends with and you're on break... You're going to try and chill with them and hang out because you want something to do and not be bored of your skull. So you try to arrange to hang out with this chick while you're at school you know, on your breaks. Everyone has giant breaks between classes where you're stuck on campus with nothing to do. That's just how the stupid education system works. You're going to be stuck on campus for a lot of the time. Um, find time during the week to hang out with this chick at least once a week. And what you're going to do is you're going to hang out with her as a friend. But what you're going to do... <laughs> is you're going to use her as a catapult to get into her social circle. So you're this chill, cool guy who has the balls to go up to her in the middle of school and strike up a decent conversation with, you know, generally interesting things to say that threw her off guard. She's probably never had this happen to her before, despite her being attractive, because as years progress, it's going to get less and less common for her to get approached by guys in the middle of the daytime who aren't inebriated at clubs. Because that's typically the only situation guys have the balls to walk up to girls they don't know in person nowadays. You're that really ballsy dude who seems pretty cool and probably gets laid a lot because he had the balls to do that. So you, in general, have some social proof going into this interaction already. And she's going to, oftentimes, they're going to be, you know, down to hang out with you as a friend. So when you hang out with her as a friend, you know, you talk, you enjoy each other's company, whatever. You don't try and get with her. Instead of what you do is you create plans for that Friday or Saturday or Sunday or whatever. The days are where you live, where stuff goes down. And you're going to try and arrange for your friends and her friends or you and her friends to go downtown and go to a club together. Or go to a bar or go to whatever. And you'll be surprised how often they're down. Because they often don't have anything fun to do. They don't have cool guy friends who they can hang out with downtown without feeling like they're going to get you know, molested by them at the end of the night or the guy's going to try and, uh, you know, hit on them while they have a boyfriend. You're that chill guy who's actually, like, cool to hang out with and will be friends with her and not, you know, cross boundaries. So she's going to very easily let you into her social circle once you do this. And within a few weeks, you can literally build, like, three to four high-caliber social circles with really hot girls just via your rejections. And that's not even accounting for the people who you've successfully approached, got numbers with, and are going on dates with. So you can see how this quickly expands into this vast network of high-quality women that branched off from you literally being a nobody who has no friends. Like this, <laughs> I'm not saying I was in that situation. I had a few guy friends there, but it was like none of my very close friends went to that school. It was basically me just walking around and going to classes by myself all the time. And I had to make stuff happen for myself. And this is how I did it. I would basically, you know, befriend any girl who had a boyfriend. And then after they get to know you and, you know, they like you, they like hanging out with you. You guys, you know, you get along and you enjoy each other's company to the point where you'd actually, you know, go out of your way to hang out at school. You propose that, you know, we should go chill this weekend at, you know, downtown at such and such club. Um, I'll bring a couple of my friends. You bring your friends and let's uh, go to blah, blah, blah. She'll be like, that sounds fun. Like for sure. Because you're not some intimidating guy who she thinks is going to, you know, cross boundaries with her and she trusts you. So once you get to these situations, 
you have some massive social proof proof through this girl because she's going to tell all of her girlfriends they're going to say who are we go- where are we going tonight what are we doing oh this guy i met at school who you know he he literally came up to me in the middle of the day and said blah 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 and um super cool guy super chill we get along great and um he's going to bring some of his friends we're going to go to this club and it's going to be you know they're going to be down because she's going to social proof you to them once you get there, you haven't even met these girls, and they're probably on the same tier as her if she's attractive. You know, typically, hot girls are going to have hot friends, at least in a lot of cases. And there's going to be a handful of them or less. There's at least going to be one, I'm sure, that you are mildly interested in. You have some massive social proof through this girl who you've been hanging out with. And then it's the likelihood of you being able to connect with one of her friends and make something happen with them is exponentially multiple fold. Like I can't even describe how effective this actually is in practical application. That same chick who she's friends with, who brings, who you end up hooking up with later, you very likely wouldn't have ever got if you tried to meet her on your own without the social proof at a club and like you had never met her before and you just cold approached her. Like the social proof through this hot girl who her friends trust and introduces you as this, you know, super chill guy who she hangs out with and is friends with and, you know, is cool and is, uh, you know, worth getting to know and fun to be around. Those chicks are going to want to, you know, see what see what's up and they're going to meet you and uh, give you a chance. And a lot of them are, you know, it's very likely that one of them is going to be interested, to be honest, if you have a good level of social intuition and can get along with them just like you get along with the friend. So... I highly advise you guys take advantage of this if you're just like blowing off your rejections and doing nothing with them. Like the rejections sometimes lead to the best outcomes, believe it or not. And they're definitely worth taking advantage of. So I highly advise you take advantage of every situation you can. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, check out my blog, moreplatesmoredates.com. Subscribe there, comment below, helps the algorithm apparently. So I would appreciate it if you comment something and you like the video. Um, check me out on Instagram at more plates, more underscore more dates, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, etc. Talk to you guys soon.